Hi, what's up everyone? Um, thanks for stopping back by the channel. Uh, we're gonna do a tool haul video today. I picked up some stuff. I know I still need to do a part two on my huge tool haul with the rigid stuff and all that. That'll be coming up. That stuff's kind of in disarray right now. I, I've been working out of those boxes, so. This is some new stuff I picked up, and we'll check it out right after the intro. Have I said that before? Seems like I always say that. Anyway, you know what's coming up. What's up? So, I already said that in the intro. I don't know. Second time I'm reshoot, re second time I'm shooting this video. So, you know, a little messed up here. Anyway, uh, tool haul. Picked up some stuff. I know I still have to do a part uh, two to the. Tool haul with the rigid and all that stuff. I've been working out of those boxes, so it's a little in disarray. But I'll get that video done. But this is a kind of quick tool haul. Some pretty cool stuff. Nothing super spectacular, but some pretty cool stuff. First thing I picked up, and this is in no particular order. I was at Walmart and uh, saw they had the other two of... My, um, pry bars. So, 36 inch striking cap. Like, 5 eighths thick. So, that will come in handy. I believe these are the same as Wild and the old Craftsman Professional. You can see they're made in USA. And these actually do have a lifetime warranty. So, that's great. I have the 25 and the... 12 inch already, so this kind of completes my set. I also picked up the 17 inch, uh, same pry bar, a little thinner chain, obviously, like I said, striking cap. I think literally both those pry bars were like 30 bucks, so not too bad. Picked up a magnet because I broke my other one. So this performance tool from AutoZone. It's like a three pound pole magnet, maybe five. So plenty good enough for what I need. Uh, this is, well, I guess we'll do this one first. So I needed a fan clutch uh, tool kit. So I picked this one up. It's was literally twenty five bucks. So it's got seven eighths. Well, let's see us. Pull it out. That seven eighths inch and seven eighths, two inch, thirty six millimeter, thirty two millimeter, and forty millimeter. If you're not familiar with how this works, you uh, take and you hook it through like this, put it on the fastener, and you know, the sun goes in your other hand when you go, and it spins the hand clutch or breaks it loose. So, that will certainly come in handy. And again, 25 bucks. I'm not going to need it much, so it'll be perfect for the amount I use it. And then, gear wrench. So, this is the uh, gear wrench shaping belt tool. 36800. So, oh, sorry, 3680D. 
I, I, I can't see that very well. Thankfully, I can see that. So, say, uh, you probably seen this either from GearWrench or rebranded. It's got the uh, extension bar, goes in the wrench. It's got like these pass through sockets that just go in there. So, this will be good for those odd angles, tensioners. Or you gotta reach around or underneath or over something. Comes with some crow's feet in this little three drive adapter, so. See that goes in the pass through. And you can take whatever crow's foot you need and push it on. That's kind of cool. And then it's at a three quarter and half inch square as well. And then I picked up the Gear Wrench uh, 120 XP XL wrenches. I think I have the packaging still. Hold on a minute. I can't find it now, and I really can't remember the part number. I'll put it right, right here, maybe. So these are spline drive, 120 tooth well, it's two 60 tooth gears that make up 120 teeth. It's got a zero offset fixed box on one side and a flex ratchet on the other. So break it loose. Flip around, ratchet it off. Set goes from 10 millimeter all the way up to 19. And uh, these things are not super cheap. I think they're about 260 for the set. No, 2 240 or 230. JDT Co. They're back ordered right now, but I think he has a set for 160 something. So, really good deal. Yeah. There's, and these things are long, like, that's the 10 millimeter. So. And, like, actually going to wrench rack. It's a space that's just too big and too tight for my toolbox. I use a 17 a lot with my Astro Nano sockets. I might do a video on that sometime. So, yep. That is the tool haul for uh, this week. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Text Talking Shop. We're on here on YouTube and on Instagram. Links down in the description for both. So, yep. Uh, uh, also, Tools is download. Uh, Boldster Tool Organizer. Everyone's down there. Go check them out. Discount codes. Get yourself some cool stuff. Yep. That's all I have for this video. Um, yeah. These wrenches. Well, one back rack a little bit. The spline drive fits. 6.12 point spline torx square and partly rounded hex. So, that's the other reason I picked it. Alright, that's all I have for this video. And, uh, yep. You know, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.